Okay, let's work on a tiger. So I've got my brushes that I've chosen, some older ones that are more worn out, because I find these ones give you nice um, hair shapes, because I'm just going to be going like this at the edge. I've got some smaller ones in angles and then a smaller angle. So we'll see how those go. If they're doing what I think that they're going to do for me, then they'll be great. Otherwise, I can swap them out. I do have a brush or two around the studio. So the colors that I've got out today, I've got some titanium white, some cadmium orange, cadmium red, raw sienna, yellow ochre, indigo, which is kind of like a black blue, a really dark blue. Um, also burnt sienna, burnt umber, and Van Dyke brown. So these are the ones that were just calling out to me today when I was uh, getting ready. And so we'll see which ones of these that I use and which ones I don't. So I'm going to start with what's in behind the most. And in this case, it's this little area here behind the front ear. So before I do the front ear, I'm just going to pop in this little section here. And we'll see. Maybe I'll carry all the way over. But either way, we're going to start working up at the top today. All right. So I'm going to come in with my smallest angle brush. I think this is just a really well worn out quarter angle brush <clears throat> and I'm going to come in along up around the outside of the ear to start using um, a lighter brown that will show up on the surface so maybe let's try some raw sienna and some burnt sienna a little more raw sienna let's take a little bit of white I just keep mixing until I get the color that I'm liking. So it looks pretty good in there. So I'll just clear off my brush so it's not all blobby around the ferrule. And then I'm just going to tap into a little bit of this so it's not really thick on my brush. So as I go, I just cover up my graphite lines. Then before I reload, I just wipe out my brush. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of indigo along the top there. side of the ear here. I'm just going to wipe out my brush and blend this. Now I'm going to come up that side of the ear here. So this little band in here, that's going to stay black. So because my canvas has been base coated black already, I've just got to stay out of this middle part here and just come out the outside. I'm also thinking about which direction the fur would naturally grow. So I don't want to have too much of it, you know, being too pokey. I want it to look like it's coming up the side or coming up the side. But you can see by using these old worn out brushes, it just gives you a a really nice irregular look. Each time when I reload my brush, I'm just going to slightly try and pick up a different color, blend a little bit where they meet, and overlap them, and then just kind of carry on. So that's far enough on this side. I'm going to be coming in with some white below this. I'm just going to scrub this down. I've got nothing on my canvas to start with. Just going onto a dry canvas. I'll just wipe it out my brush. 
All right, let's come in with some burnt sienna, some white. A little heavier on the burnt sienna side. I'm gonna pop some of that in here. Pick up a little more, just straight up burnt sienna. Wipe out my brush a little bit, a little more burnt sienna. And I'm gonna come back and just using the tip of the little brush. So just the pointed part. I'm just gonna blend this edge a little bit. Cover up my graphite line in there as I go. And we've got it here started. So we're going to carry on with the upper ear. I've got it filled in a little bit more than I wanted to in there, so I'm just going to come back with some indigo. And open that back up. As I'm brushing on top of my canvas, it's going to pick up those other wet colors. So I can go and put them somewhere else, or I just want to wipe out my brush before I reload. Now I'm just softening the edge a little. So let's wipe out and get a little more indigo. I also make sure I'm covering up like the little bumps I can see in the canvas from where these two other colors dusted on top of the little bumps. Oh, hello, Mama. <laughs> that is one of my cats, little Mama. What are you up to, honey? Mama's painting. Are you helping? Okay, so that looks good. That looks nice and opened. I could maybe uh, put a little bit more yellow ochre right there just so the black is encased. Adding a little bit more burnt sienna there. All right, then let's paint an ear.
Let's add a little de detail to the right ear now. So I've got out some black and some white, some oil painting medium or linseed oil, and some odorless paint thinners. And I'm just going to mix up some <clears throat> using a script brush. That's a brush that has long, narrow handles. I know, or long, narrow bristles. This one is not in the best condition, but it will be good for this. So I'm mixing some of the white. with the paint thinner to loosen up the white oil paint so that I can pull nice, easy, flowing, whiskery strokes. And the reason I don't mind if this one opens up a little bit and the bristles don't stay tight is because it can give me more than one whisker. Now we're going to put in a little bit of oil painting medium and then spin and pull. We want some whiskers. You can have a lot of whiskers. Get a little bit of warm up. So because it's skipping like that, that tells me that I need a bit more of the medium in my brush, the linseed oil. Everything's fixable. All right, let's paint some whiskers.